time now for some fun in the sun. Alan Bachman of Agora Financial joins us for the weekly options alert. And what can you tell us as you're keeping tabs on the market from a very nice warm climate, Alan? Hi Angie, sometimes you have to just seek out the sun and these amazing markets have been great for our strategy. How are your trades coming along? Sure thing, took 100% profit gain again in just two weeks on Twitter on Monday. So that was the second half of that position. So that's our strategy to sell too soon. What that does, it leaves us just our Apple trade. Uh, Apple needs a breakout above 138. It's been trading sideways, but it's making higher lows. That's very much a positive to attack that high. And also we've got a nugget play that it's for March. That was a gold hedge uh, when we needed some protection, I guess, when the market had a little bit more concerns. Tell us about your trade trigger for this week. All right, this week's trade trigger is NEO. NEO has been an amazing momentum stock, up 2,500 percent uh, off its March low. So it's been a mover. Uh, it did pause, and coming into this week, it was about 15 percent off the highs. So looking at this stock, it was stuck between 40 and 60. A breakout of that targets 80 eventually. So what we're doing here is we're leading on that 50, that midpoint of that sideways range for three months. The $50 call for March is the play we're looking at. $50 call for March, but hopefully we'll be long gone before it hits that $80 target because we always set up with our 50% profit and our 100% profit in advance. And your final thoughts for the trading day? Trading takeaways. Trading takeaway number one, split eights. I know that's a gambling term. We're all about probability, but 80% of stocks have beat on earnings and 80% of stocks have beat on revenue so far this quarter. It's been a blowout quarter. Number two, money moves. Everybody's keeping an eye on money moves now. That's what we've been doing for this whole time. Not only do you have to see the money moves, but then you've got to manage your position to maximize your profits. And number three, we're one step away. Now we talked long, long, long ago about 4,000 as our target in the S&P. Uh, we're back above 3,900 now. So uh, what I can say is we're just enjoying the sunshine that's falling on us. Well, muchas gracias, Alan, and adios. Thank you. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.